a Republican group, One Nation, shelling out more than a million dollars on a campaign hitting Senator Joe Manchin. Stephen Law is the president and founder of One Nation, and he joins us now. What are your chances of flipping Manchin's seat from Democrat to Republican, Stephen? Well, Joe Manchin has a very, very big problem, which this uh, ad gets at. Uh, he was the chief architect of the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, which, as you know, had absolutely nothing to do with uh, reducing inflation. Instead, it was a gigantic liberal climate change bill that's going to do incalculable damage to Joe Biden's own constituents in West Virginia. And the reason we're running this spot is we want to put a spotlight on this issue and its impact on the economy. And this is just the beginning. We're starting in West Virginia because Joe, Bi uh, Joe Manchin wrote the bill. Uh, but we're going to talk about this elsewhere as well. Why doesn't Joe Manchin just switch parties? I mean, the Democrats hate him. The Republicans would love to have him. Well, if you, if you look at uh, Joe Manchin's long history, uh, he really is deep down in his heart and soul a Democrat. And what's more, over the years, he's become a Washington, D.C. Democrat. Mm -hmm. He lives up here most of the time. He votes probably 90 percent of the time with the Washington, D.C. Democrats. And to me, that doesn't look like somebody who's thinking about becoming a Republican. <laughs> Fair enough. Well said. Uh, the governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, he says voters are looking for somebody who can win. They want to hear what Republicans are doing to help them fight through inflation. They don't want months and months of debate over whether the 2020 election was stolen. End quote. That, uh, Stephen, looks to me like a dig at Trump. What's your response? Well, I don't know exactly what uh, Governor Kemp had in mind, but the one thing I do know is that Governor Kemp is the most successful Republican politician in modern history in Georgia, and so I think people ought to pay attention to what he has to say. I don't see how you win the presidency without winning the state of Georgia, and certainly people ought to be listening to his advice if they're thinking about running for president and, and winning this next fall. Is one nation firmly behind Donald Trump? Well, One Nation is an advocacy organization that works on issues. We're not involved in politics, and also our combined organizations are focused entirely on the mm -hmm. Senate. So that's a field that we're not going to be playing in. We've got plenty to say grace over right now, so we won't be involved in that enterprise. What's your, what's your big issue? Well, one of the biggest issues we're going to be talking about over the next several months is this issue, the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, yeah. which is going to dramatically impact people's lives. It's going to raise energy prices, which will have an impact, as you know, that will rumble throughout the entire economy and jobs. And then the thing that a lot of people have forgotten about is it also weaponizes the IRS to go after middle and low-income people, audit them, and effectively raise their taxes. I don't think... People yet realize what this Inflation Reduction Act actually means, especially for energy prices. I and mean, we're chucking, what, a third of a trillion dollars into green energy? We're going to spend all that money? Energy prices go up? I don't think voters quite realize the impact just yet. I, I, that's exactly right. And, and whenever you take a gigantic slush fund like that and start putting into new projects, there's going to be all sorts of grift. There are going to be uh, projects that fail. Many people have long forgotten the Obama administration's experiments here that created uh, groups like Solyndra that wasted hundreds of millions of dollars uh, of taxpayers' money. We're going to see that again. We're going to be talking about it, and this is an important part of what we should be talking about going forward. What Brian Kemp said is exactly right. We need to be talking about inflation, crime, the economy, and the border, and those are the things that people yeah. are concerned about and want to see change from Washington on them. Uh, Stephen Law, would you please put me on your mailing list? I'd like to hear what you've got to say. Stephen Law, everyone. I would be very happy to. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me on the show, Stuart. Sure thing. See you again soon.